Hello and welcome back to our KSP career with me and today we are looking back at our Drez probe, yes. So we are supposed to get a Drez encounter pretty soon as you can tell and we are gonna have a flyby of it. I'm thinking maybe if we could even get it to that we actually, you know, stop in the orbit around it so that we get stuck, that would be amazing. However, I'm actually not sure that we will have the Delta V for it. We'll give it a go anyway, shall we? All right, so I'm actually trying to lower my dress periapsis so that at least if push comes to shove, we get a very, very nice flyby. There we go. Just a couple of meters per second to get a very, very nice, you know, flyby. I mean, we do have 1600 meters per second of delta V. However, I don't know how much we will need to get perform an orbital insertion burn here. So dress periaps is 429. I mean, I'll ultimately try to lower it down to some more acceptable level. And after that, we will be pulling off a flyby. So with that being said, my core temperature is heating and I'm pointing the rocket already because I wanted to just expend all that heat and there we go, stopping the reactor. The problem with on this craft is that I don't have the cooling radiator, so that's the problem. The heat management system is pretty much non-existent because I didn't think that the Nerva would need it. Yes, well, the Nerva is the heat expenditure system because the heat from the reactor goes out the nozzle, however, that being said, that means that we really need to go... I mean, our connection is a little bit also so-so. And that's mainly because our battery was going a little bit touch and go. Probably due to the rotation. We have poorly rotated and then because of that, you know, we lost power. Doesn't matter. Anyway, as you can see, now it's everything is being recharge so however let's just try and see if we can get closer to dress i mean what the dress periapsis and everything we could actually warp to the sphere of influence so that we you know start getting some science data from dress <laughs> and they say nobody visits dress here we are dress lonely planet we are here to make your day See, that's a nice orbit, actually. Well, not an orbit, technically, but yeah, you get the picture. All right, so here we go around Dres. Let's see if we can circularize around Dres. I don't see Dres. That's kind of interesting. Uh, ah, it's a tiny rock underneath. Okay, got it. See it. I see it. There we go. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Periapsis. 87 kilometers. Not bad. No storage space. You've got to be kidding me. All right. So we're going to put the craft here. We're going to start the reactor and let's just fix the periapsis quickly as much as we can all right 100k doable now what we want to do is we want to make sure there you go little dress lonely planet so if i gently move this here how much do we need to actually perform the orbital insertion burn let's see we need 1400 meters per second so i guess that's doable all right then, we shall then be performing the Drez encounter, shall we? Oh, that's nice. All right, we are pointing the maneuver prograde. Everything is just dandy. All right. So. 
By the way, guys, if you like what the episode, do smash that like button as it helps me out a great deal. So now let's look at this craft as we approach Drez. There we go, Drez coming out of the darkness. Beautiful image. All right. Time to start aligning ourselves and preparing ourselves for the orbital insertion burn. All right. There we go. Soon enough, we will be turning on the reactor and then we will be performing the burn. Oh, that's a screenshot for the episode if I ever knew one. All right. Cool. Now, getting ready. Three minutes in. I just have to check my staging that everything is correctly staged. All right. There we go. Two minutes burn. We have to start in two minutes and 18 seconds. We're going to have just enough Delta V to get us inserted around dress. That's beautiful. Okay. Ooh. Sight, dress, lowlands. Just give me the science, please. All right, there we go, getting closer to the burn, and then we're gonna start the reactor, after which we shall be performing the burn. There we go, 10 seconds in, and let's get cracking. So, starting the reactor, and burn. Uh, uh okay, what, what happened? What just happened? I'm actually not sure what happened, but it seems like all of a sudden our ISP has dropped significantly. That's weird. I'm not sure if I understand what's going on, but please, anybody, if you know, let me know in the comments. But the silver lining is that we won't have enough Delta V to actually circularize. So, okay, so this will, I guess, be still a flyby and Drez will remain a lonely planet. Ho! Oh. Well, okay. I'm trying to toggle mode. Yeah, okay. Burn now. This is also a nice shot. Yeah, sadly, for some reason, we don't have enough Delta V, although it was clearly apparent that we were supposed to have, which leaves us at this flyby and means do all the science that you can really do. Otherwise, it's going to be waste of space and science and whatnot. Okay, clearly didn't I didn't anticipate this one, so I'm going to just fold in the... Let's do the temperature scan, because that one we will, and sight we will be able to extract before we get out of the dress escape. So let's just quickly collect as much as we can. I may actually turn it to this orientation, just so it looks nicer. This is pure eye candy th shit. So, seems like we're not going to go to dress. Instead, we're doing a flyby, but we're going to catch some science out of there anyway, and hopefully that will help us advance our understanding and uh, usage of high efficiency thrusters to be able to get into the orbit the second time. Okay, nine credits, that's good enough. There we go. I'm just trying to gather as many experiments as I can before we actually leave the, you know, dress sphere of influence. And I'm thinking of ditching some of the larger science world first. Okay, yes, start exploring dress. We huzzah, we've gotten something. Gravity scan, sun, space high. If I delete that one, we will always be able to, you know, get it later on. However, that means that leaves me a lot of space for the in-dress 
sort of um, science experiments, so might as well become getting the radiation scan going and sight going faster. There we go. Radiation and sight. Come on, please do that before we get out of the sphere of influence. 12 minutes. Okay, and let's quickly switch to the space center to see if there is a science around Dres. Science around Kerbin, science around the moon, Gilly, Duna, Kerbal, Minmus. Nothing about Dres. So nobody cares about Dres. Okay, that should be a tagline. There it is. All right, sorry Dres, despite my best efforts, you are and will remain a lonely planet. It's kind of sad, actually. All right, we are collecting some, you know, sight and more sight experiments, which will be transmitted into Kerbin in due time, so no problems there. I was trying to see if we can get an additional data somewhere, but apparently not too much. All right, guys, you know what to do. As always, like if you like the episode, hit subscribe, and I guess I will be seeing you in the next one as soon as we leave Dres and rename this. This is no longer Dres Long Range Relay, it's a Dres Deep Space Probe, which was originating at Dres and then continued going bye bye somewhere into deep space. I've been your host, Groundforks, and I'll see you in the next one.